Ichthyosaurs were famous because they were more adapted to oceanic life than any other reptile. Their fossils are numerous, showing that they would have been a common sight throughout most of their reign, and discoveries of their fossils date back to the 1700s, when they were mistaken for fish because of their streamlined body, very well developed tail fluke, and fossil imprints show that they would have even had a dorsal fin, features not shared by any other marine reptiles, which is where they get their name, as ichthyosaur literally means fish lizard. So they are the closest any marine reptile has got to being the reptile version of whales, and some of them even grew to the size of whales. The outbreak of the Triassic period about 250 million years ago was met with an influx of many new reptiles that had adapted to life out at sea. This was because the Permian extinction, the mass extinction that closed off the previous period, was particularly devastating to marine life, and even more so predatory marine life, causing the extinction of many animals like trilobites, as well as the majority of the shark species from the time period. This left a vacuum in the oceans for new predators to occupy, and many reptiles from the land seized the opportunity to colonise these new niches. And by about 220 million years ago in the late Triassic, they had grown into giants. The largest ichthyosaur was called Shonosaurus popularis, that grew to around 15 metres long, being larger than a humpback whale. Shonosaurus didn't have the typical fish-shaped body that some ichthyosaurs had, for example it most likely lacked a dorsal fin, but this wasn't by design, and it was because they were descendants of a more ancient lineage of ichthyosaurs. Highly advanced and fish-like ichthyosaurs like Ophthalmosaurus started to first appear in the Jurassic period, but like all marine reptiles, they came from a land-dwelling ancestor, and during the Triassic, they had not had long enough for their bodies to be perfectly sculpted by the ocean. And so at this time, they looked a lot more like other marine reptiles. Early ichthyosaurs, like Symbospondylus, that lived in the early Triassic, show what primitive ichthyosaurs looked like. It most likely had a small tail fluke, although it wasn't as heavily specialised as later ichthyosaurs, and its flippers were still in a position showing how they had evolved from four-legged reptiles and Shoniosaurus had carried over many of these primitive features. Fossilised faeces of a marine reptile have been found in association with numerous bones of Shoniosaurus, leading to the belief that they may have been made by the ichthyosaur, and they contained fossilised small animals, like fish and squid, meaning that despite being giants, Shoniosaurus may have preyed on fairly small animals. It was thought for some time that Shoniosaurus became toothless as it got older, and so it may have fed by suction feeding which is a method of feeding used by beaked whales that are deep diving whales that primarily feed on squid, where they suck up the water and any squid or fish that are unlucky enough to be caught in the current. However, more recent analysis of its fossils have shown that it did have teeth at every stage in its life, and its teeth were quite robust, but it may have still fed by sucking up its prey, as sperm whales also use suction feeding despite having teeth on their bottom jaw. Sperm whales don't use their teeth to chew or slash, but instead use them to grapple with the larger prey that they eat, but still largely consumed by sucking up their prey, and Shonosaurus may have been doing the same. Shonosaurus may have been enormous, but there were some ichthyosaurs that could grow even larger. Size estimates of giant marine reptiles are usually controversial, because most of the time the giant specimens are calculations made from very incomplete remains. However, in the case of Shonosaurus popularis, this isn't really an issue, because their giant body has been fully preserved on multiple occasions. There isn't a dispute about whether they were massive or not, because they definitely were. The problem is that there are even larger species of ichthyosaur known from fossils, and there is a dispute if they were just another larger species of Shonosaurus, or a different ichthyosaur called Shastosaurus. There is definitely one species of Shastosaurus called Shastosaurus pacificus that was around 7 meters long and despite being fairly closely related to Shonosaurus, was a very different animal. Shonosaurus had a long and thin head, but its body was large, specifically having a thin but tall ribcage. But Shastosaurus had a small blunt head with a very long slender body. So if Shastosaurus also had a giant species, this would mean that they would be two different kinds of giant ichthyosaur that have very different body dimensions, and most likely lived in very different ways, prowling the Triassic oceans around the same time as each other. However, more recent analysis of the giant ichthyosaur fossils have shown that they almost certainly didn't belong to Shastosaurus, and were actually just another species of Shonosaurus called Shonosaurus sicaniensis. So there most likely wasn't two different kinds of ichthyosaur, but Shonosaurus sicaniensis would have been a giant animal, 
reaching about 21 meters long, and could have weighed as much as 60 tons. This would make them comparable in size to a fin whale, the second largest whale, meaning the Shonosaurus were among the largest animals to ever swim the seas, and the largest reptiles known to have ever lived. However, even this may not have been their size limit because a fossil of part of an ichthyosaur jawbone was discovered in England in 2016 that would have most likely come from an even larger animal. Due to the incompleteness of the fossil, the size estimates are a lot less certain, but it could have been around 25 meters long. And with the discovery of this new giant fossilized ichthyosaur only being made five years ago, when ichthyosaurs have been known about for over 200 years, it is perfectly possible that they could be even bigger marine reptiles. But how big could these animals get? Could an ancient ichthyosaur dethrone the blue whale as the largest animal that ever lived? Although being ocean-going animals dramatically increases the upper limit animals can reach, there are still physical size restraints, like as animals get larger, just finding enough prey to fuel their giant mass can become a real challenge. Not just because there aren't enough animals in their ecosystem to prey on, but also because it becomes harder to move their body through the water and catch the more agile and sometimes faster prey. All of the largest whales alive today are filter feeders, which works around a lot of the issues that are associated with giant body sizes. Studies have shown that filter feeding has some efficiency gains over traditional hunting and catching prey, but also, the larger the whale, the larger the amount of krill they consume with one gulp, so switching to a diet of krill may have increased the upper size limits of whales. But the giant Shonosaurus were toothed animals and possibly highly predatory, which could be why we haven't seen their fossils pass much further than the 20 meter mark, whereas the largest blue whale on record was 33 meters long. Furthermore, giant baleen whales like blue whales have reached the predicted physical limits for operating their jaws because of the sheer weight of the water they have to shift while capturing their krill, meaning they may show the size limits of where filter feeding can take you. So even if a filter feeding marine reptile was discovered, this doesn't necessarily mean they could have grown any larger than a blue whale. But we shouldn't assume that whales living today are representatives of size constraints of all marine vertebrates as the upper size limits are dependent on the unique biology of different groups of animals and the environment they live in. Ichthyosaurs were reptiles, and this could have given them different physical constraints for the sizes they could reach. But more importantly, they lived over 200 million years ago in an incredibly different environment, and this can make a big difference. For instance, prehistoric baleen whales are on average considerably smaller than whales living today and the incredibly large filter feeding whales we have today may have only achieved these proportions in the last 3 to 4 million years. And this is thought to be due to the incredibly high numbers of krill that are living in the oceans currently. So maybe there is a fossil of an ichthyosaur or a different marine reptile that did grow larger than a blue whale, still waiting to be found. Thank you for watching. A big thank you to all my patrons for supporting the channel, especially the big contributors that are listed here. If you like content like this, then consider becoming a patron as well.